heal us. You know what? I can deal with that. I can handle that. But just imagine if there's something more powerful. That would be something out of a nightmare. Like hell, you know? Just in the turn you're whacking and these healers who just laugh at you and heal themselves and stuff. Hey, like you! You're to be judged! I Kassam! Upon you. I don't know if you're found worthy or not, but Kassam! You know what? We don't actually need to bring it to all these people. I just find it funny to bring the glowing crystal to them and knock them on their asses. I don't know if that makes me unworthy of this task, but I just find it hilarious. Boom! Why don't any of the chosen ever return? Well, they said they were going to a school. They are going to be uh, educated. From Banzo! What? Who the hell gives these gargoyles their names? Seriously? Even Gringler had a more... What was dignified name than these? I Judgment! Oh, have it already judged you while we were fighting? It has. Uh. Over here, I hear something sneering. An inferno him. Wasn't it fire imps before? Are these upgraded? Yeah, yeah oh. their skin is also a bit more brownish rather than reddish. Yeah, and they're tougher, I can see that. can emulate all you want. Well, I am Lord of you know fire. what? Yeah, but you know what? You've got to admit, they do bring a lot of firepower to the battle. hi -o! <laughs> Not funny. At all. So think not as long as quite I was sworn in a... Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, they live in peace. Awkward. Well, like the Drake. Technically, I mean, I don't think the undead belong to a state you can declare war against. So, in that sense. Can you, can you imagine that actually? Oh, we are done waging war with these other countries. Oh, sir, we just have a major outbreak of undead. Ah, the good old times. Yeah, pretty unlucky. But it's something probably has something to do with that lich we saw and that scepter. Pretty... I really do not know if I want to consider him a lich anymore. He looked like a mix between, yeah, uh. Yeah, really. Is it usual for a lich to have wings of a well vampire bat? Well, that depends. A lich is an undead sorcerer, after all, so that will pretty much depend on what was he before he died. I know that I have to. I still remember that I said that he looked like Marcus of the Underworld series, but when I think about it, he actually also looks a bit like a dreadlord or Nafrasim, if you will. Yeah. The point is, the game says he's an undead lich, which would seem a bit redundant, but probably for the benefit of those who don't know the what lich yeah. is usually considered as. But I also understand why you somehow thought he looked like Illidan. Illidan. Those horns on his, what I assume to be helmet, looked a bit like his. You know, maybe it's wings uh, and extra bits he's stolen from all creatures, uh, animated and then grafted onto himself. Yeah, but then this skin color would not exactly be the same. Maybe he was just born that way, and his folks did not understand him, so he went angry. I don't know. Or well, maybe he just transformed I himself. If it turns out magic. This lich has oh, somebody has needs help! Rush! Oh, on my oh, way. Oh, crap. Karomi Tengu! Uh, it was something, something. I think right, someone then. needs help. Okay, I'm gonna rush ahead here to help whoever All it is. Alright, take care. I will see if I can deal with these. Mox, get out there and help him. Are you handling yourself? Yeah, but there's a villager here that really needs help. I'm defending him to the base of my... Went down. I'm going to resurrect her. But as soon as you can spare, get over here and help me. I mean, as yeah, soon as... Yeah, I am about to die back here, so give me a moment. Thank you, healer. Keep he healing me. Well, at least you have mocks now. Hmm. 
too many birds for too few stones. How did you die? I was the only one who wasn't there to help you. You know, when you rushed past all these birds and left me to deal with them, it turned out there were too many for me to kill all at a time. But you had four party members with you. No, they ran ahead to help you. Oh. Well, fuck. That was not intended. After all, you are the commander, so uh, you are the big uh, guy, so to say. Well, just see if you can get rid of them, or at least heal yourselves, and then... Well, considering get... I'm dead, that could be a bit troublesome. Well, what's Mox going to do? Why did he run across the bridge? I have no idea. Hey, Mox! Oh! Oh, I think I get it now. It turns out I am still in command of Mox. Well, why I did you send him across the bridge? I sent him up to help you. Well, when well, I had control of Mox, I sent him to run up alongside the other heroes to try and help you. It turns out, though, that he went too far. I clicked over the horizon by accident, so he went uh, out. May I? Okay, now I'm not. Yes, I know that he usually follows you automatically. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm not trying to harp on you here, but it doesn't it seem like a tactical, unsound decision to send the big bad golem away from you, so you were alone? Yes, but I thought of it like this. You were going to help this villager, so I thought you would need all the help you could get. Yeah, anyway, can you do something with this golem? Yeah. He is running back automatically, and he should be able to heal something, something, I guess. It seems he's... He's trying to use Resurrection Signet. But these kings keep interrupting him, apparently. We can only hope that he can actually send his crown. But I doubt it. Well, it turns out we had to go over this again. Okay, you know you can click Pomox, right? And do stuff. Yes, I know. I can click on him, but I... Can you do stuff with him when you do that? No, I cannot use any of his abilities. All I can do is really just move him along like a puppet. Okay, well, we'll try that one more time, people. Be right back. Hello, people. We I haven't gotten to the point yet, but I just want to show you this amazing magical tree stump. Look, it is floating. It floats, all right. They all float. Actually, the rest of the tree stumps are firmly grounded. But yeah, this I, one I breaks the rule. I just had to make that quote. Yeah. Well, let's oh. float along then. Before all right, we killed those. And let's see if we can get this guy some help. Uh, heal him, heal him. Great. Here comes the fire warrior. All right, this time we managed to do it. We managed to not only... Uh, Kill those uh, birdmen back there, but we also managed to save the guy. Oh, and he has quest. Let's see. Thank you. When our cannon was attacked, several were scattered into the hills. If any of them are chosen, it would be your duty as we keep the eye to find and escort them safely to a lower host. Okay. Um, the hills. Up here, I think. Are you sure it's not this way? I mean, this looks more like up into the hills, if you ask me. You know, if it's a bonus objective. Mm. Okay, let's take that path. Oh, and something blinked up here. Yeah, that's a green. Oh, okay, fine. Then I over owe you an apology for last time. I thought it was you who just clicked instantaneously and just click, 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 click. Oh. No, it's sometimes they call for eight that way. Huh, he was chosen. Well, that means we have two, no, wait, three chosen following us now. Croth hmm. the Tengu, nevermore. I have no Don't idea why. I think there's any of them over there, so let's just continue.
Did you click? Nope. I never click on the minimap. Hmm. It's amazing that Kreiser fared so well during the Char invasion. Well, maybe the Kreiser's were not the one that pissed the Char off by some means that we have no idea of. Maybe King Adelburn just said something bad to the, well, Char leader's mother or something like that. Or maybe the Char just wanted to expand. That's been good enough reason for many throughout the years. Just, we need more land. Somebody else has it. Or rather, well, we'll something it. like this. Me big man wolf. Me want land. Actually, sometimes countries generally have a need to expand to acquire resources. After all, that was one of the major reasons Denmark was so aggressive back in the Viking Age and early Middle Age to take control of all countries around them. You might, because, as it is, Denmark doesn't have a lot of raw resources. I mean, we don't have much in the ways of metal and stuff like that. Our neighborhood countries, however, did. Indeed. And it was... Just to poke fun at the chart that I made my voice that way. I know that I really have nothing to say in the matter of my ancestors, you know, trying to conquer and basically do whatever they wanted to other countries. Yeah, well, it was a different time. Uh, not to justify it, of course, but they didn't exactly have international trading back then. Well, I suppose they sort of had some kind of international trading. They had trading, trading yeah, but it's not yeah, the it, same level I, th as I think it, I think it sort of went in this way. Okay, either you hand over your women, your crops, and whatever other you resources you have, or you get this axe to the face. Well, they only had trading as long as they were, as one party was sure it couldn't take on the other, more or less. I know there was, of course, people who were different, and there were places where there was lots of peaceful trading and stuff, I'm not denying that. But just as a general rule. By the way, something that I found a bit curious... G gypsies! Have... Yeah. Have we ever had a... Uh... Danish king by the name of Rothgar. A Frogstar? What? Oh, Rothgar with an invisible H. I think. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not that much into Danish world history. Well, neither have I really been. I was just curious for a moment. There's a lady over there, and is she a chosen or what? Nope, they're not chosen. If they fall on their ass, they're not chosen. Let's try these guys over here. Hello, let's see. Can you hold your balance? Why don't any of the chosen ever return? They're sent to a school. Ambush! Okay, as for you, let's see here. No, it must already have judged him while we were busy. Okay, moving on. Hmm. By the way, when you spoke of the Danish royalty and all that, would it be wrong for me to say that we really do not have so much blue blood left in them? Don't know. I guess that's actually a good thing, considering the inbreeding that our royalty once engaged in. Which resulted in a couple of monarchs that were downright bad shit basket cases. Mm. Which was not good for the nation, mind you. I know. Not that it only happened here. A lot of royal family ended up inbred and completely crazy. I read about a Roman uh, emperor, who I believe also resulted in breeding. He had a really weird specific... Wait, we already been here! We got in one big... Have we? We got yes, in one we big... we have gone in circles. Oh. So now I just just back to that Ritz thingy and then we are to proceed another way. Yeah. Anyway, what was that? Yeah, some Roman emperor who had a very specific diet, only eating stuff like uh, eels who had been fed the fat of slaves and uh, what was it? Pork stuff with rare birds and he had a real thing for bird brains certainly that's something he considered delicacy and if the food wasn't expensive enough he would often dust it with gold he was